Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Dominic Calvaloon has been offered a new contract by Everton. This is according to the Liverpool Echo. Of course, he has only got one year left of his contract, and there is a lot of uh, a lot of stories, a lot of gossip that he could leave this summer. With obviously Newcastle being the uh, the, the target, apparently. Um, there's one national newspaper today with that as their story on the back page saying that they will go for him for £25 million. Now, we don't know whether this is Everton trying to just basically push their chest out and say we are doing everything in our power to keep the player. Uh, we don't know when this contract was actually offered, whether it was uh, today or whether it was months ago. But uh, Everton making sure everyone knows that they've done everything in their power to uh, keep Dominic Calvin loon at the club. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. It could be somewhat of a uh, summer soap opera. We hope not. We hope that it gets sorted out quite quickly because there's a lot of you know issues at the club, isn't there, with buying players, selling players, PSR, everything else. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. And that obviously leads us on to... Everton also today stating that they are adamant that there will not be a uh, fire sale when it comes to Jared Branthwaite. Uh, there are reports this afternoon saying that Everton will look for a fee um, or, or around a fee of uh, a record for a defender. That comes from the ind Independent today. Uh, Everton, again, being very, very bullish when it comes to Jared Branthwaite. There's been reports that Manchester United were going to get him on a cut price deal. I mean, I don't know why they thought that. I know they are basically trying to make a lot of uh, their staff redundant, but that doesn't mean they can get one of the most promising defenders in Europe on the cheap. Jared Branthwaite is believed to be very happy at Everton and wants to stay at Everton. And I'm sure everyone agrees that another year for, would, at Everton would do him the world of good. So Everton are being very bullish about that. And yeah, Everton are looking at a fee around 80 million um, with a, apparently 15 million, 15%, sorry, having to go to uh, Carlisle as well. So Everton have been very bullish on this and shown that they won't be, won't be pushed around. And again, because of media reports, media reports basically kicking Everton left, right and centre again because of the uh, end of 777's exclusivity on their deal, which runs out tomorrow. And a lot of people feel like that's going to be uh, a really bad moment for Everton. But I think us fans believe that could be a really good moment for Everton and, and to get some actual um, top class owners, hopefully, hopefully. So there you go. Uh, moving on, Everton target. Calvin Phillips has offered himself to Barcelona, um, according to a, a Barcelona publication, a huge, huge outlet. Uh, interesting one from Calvin Phillips. Um, I think we'd all offer ourselves to Barcelona if we were a player who uh, had no future at our current club. But, um, you know, we'll wait, on, wait and see. I'm not sure why Barcelona would want him, but who knows? Stranger things have happened, so... Who knows, but he obviously has been linked with a loan deal to Everton and obviously with uh, his former club, Leeds, being in the Championship, they would be believed to have been uh, in the market for him if they come up back to the Premier League, but uh, that's not going to happen uh, or you know, next season. So we'll wait and see on Calvin Phillips's future. And finally, Amadou Onana has spoken um, on... The rumours of him leaving, he's obviously going to the Euros and he says that could obviously propel him this summer. He said at previous tournaments, you have seen that the players who did well make the step up uh, to the top clubs. That's something I strive for. Um, yeah. Listen, Belgium's on international break. We know the situation. But I have honestly, I have no issue with with him answering questions on his future and, and being ambitious. Um, I think it's up to Everton or any football club to match the ambition of footballers. If they want to go and win trophies, if they believe they can play in the Champions League, then it's up to football clubs to match that ambition. And if Amadou Onama doesn't believe Everton now, then Everton you know, will sell the player, will get a good price for the player. He will go and play for a club playing in those competitions 
and Everton will use the money to bring someone else in. And I think that's always been the plan with Avenue Onana. So no issues at all on that kind of sentiment. I know people get a little bit touchy when they hear stuff like that, but personally, I have no problem with that. It's just it's just called ambition and maybe if Everton had had that um, for a few years, then we wouldn't be in the position we are in. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Make sure to check out my interview with Henry Winter. And I've also spoke to the Crystal Palace bloggers HLTCO about John Texter who has obviously been linked with a takeover of Everton. Make sure you check those out. Thanks for watching. See you later.